So in the last lap of the Daytona 500, Kurt Busch won the race on Sunday. That's the only time that he led the race. Isn't that amazing? After 17 times in that race, so he's on this victory lap that we call the Daytona 500 Tour. And he joins us this morning. Mirror, who needs a mirror? Now, if you didn't watch this race, um, Kurt, congratulations, by the way. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. <laughs> I bet. What I'm a still, week. I'm still in awe. Yeah, I mean, we're in New York, we're in Charlotte, we're here in Atlanta, getting ready for our next race. But the Daytona 500, to hoist up that trophy after so many years, that race will just rip your heart out and, and then it, and then when you go back you're like okay maybe it'll be nice to me this year and because you never know it ripped your mirror out so <laughs> for 30 laps you didn't have a mirror so how that bode well for you how do you race without a mirror it, it was one of those crazy chaotic races lots of cars had damage we had damage and we actually were under the five minute clock to repair our car from nascar's new rule and the way it all turned out for us with those hits we took it damaged some of the parts the mirror fell off with 30 laps to go and that meant i couldn't watch from behind on who was coming up or who i had to block and i'll tell you in victory lane my wife she heard about everything on the radio and she goes why are you looking in the mirror the future is out in front. Oh, how about that one? That's I mean, a good omen too, she right? She is so smart beyond her years. I love her to death. Yes. Um, you know, I, I'm going to jump right to that. What? That you've had a life in the fast lane, at least in the past year. Now, good things for you. Your cubbies won. Your oh, thank you. Right? Wow. Yeah. And let's see what else. You uh, won Daytona. Oh, that's right. Uh, and you got uh, married to Ashley. Oh. Now, Ashley isn't here with us today, but she's been traveling around with you this week. Um, is this an omen for your year to come in NASCAR? I hope it is, but uh, ever since uh, the day that I met her, it's been like a fairy tale. And her family, uh, we had a wonderful wedding, and the way that everything it came was in together. January. Yes, right. Yes, in January, went to the Caribbean and then came back and had a big party here with everybody. So, I'm on a roll. There's no reason to stop now. We'll just keep going. I, I read that she thought your first words to her in private were cheesy, like a cheesy pickup line. Oh yeah. What were they? Oh, and, yeah. and were they a cheesy pickup line? Absolutely. I mean, that's how you have to start <laughs> out. I got it out of the way early. I said, uh, "Is your father a thief?" Because because he stole the stars out of the sky and put them in your eyes. Oh, my word. And it worked. So cheesy or not, it worked. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. What is the most challenging thing you think as a newlywed since you are one? Honestly, uh, it's, it's the travel that she uh, has jumped right into. But yet right now with this win and the time that we're apart, I think it's the travel side of it and the business side and all the things that are going on around NASCAR. I, I've been in Vegas. I've been in Salt Lake City. I've been all over the country helping promote the tour. And now here we are. The tour is already starting and we'll be in Vegas next week. And you're a little bit out of sorts in terms of your regular schedule that you would be going into the next race because you're on this tour. So you said Daytona is about survival. If that's the case, then what's Atlanta about? Because that's the next race. Uh, this one here is about tire management. Uh, okay. This track is really old. The asphalt chews up the tires and the way that you have to attack this track is to preserve your tires and save them more for the end of the race. So each week uh, there's a book on what you have to do, but yet our sport continues to change. We've done so many good things with the new point structure, uh, the new five minute clock for fixing the damage, and a new entitlement sponsor with Monster Energy, which is my sponsor. It's fantastic. Look at you like a pro, just tying that all in together. So yeah, they call it stage racing now for folks who are at home um, and just a little bit uh, um, just getting used to NASCAR, maybe you're just now becoming a fan. So stage racing means you get points for um, the first part of the race or the second part of the race, and then the one that matters is the last part of the race, and that's where he won. His brother Kyle won the first stage of Daytona. Yep. Yeah? Yep. I saw these stages. I'm like, you guys go on ahead. You guys win the little uh, yeah. stages. I'm going to be the tortoise and come in at the end and win the big stage. If only it was that easy to plan, right? <laughs> so I want to point out that um, your brother Kyle was here when he was a Sprint Cup last year, and um, in honor of sibling rivalry Ooh, and stage nice. racing he did not win this challenge against me let's watch one go hey going for the green one already we've got a couple in there uh, you got to get it in the bowl that's the hard part see we got that totally through 10 seconds everybody did you Ten. see that double i got oh see let's oh oh we got some rough action hey, going that, here that's called racing. Swap and paint. that's called racing you understand three two one Okay, so you see, <laughs> what is I this? beat your brother. So well, I'm already, a, I'm already a lap down. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> right, he didn't either. 
Okay, so maybe that's my this strategy. This like cool bar tricks. What okay, we... so yeah, a little bit. I wanted to make you feel at home. So in your cup, if you like to get ready, is, oh wait, yeah, that's the calorie-free one. I want that one. Oh, you can now have I the, see you already so, trading. So this is Monster politics. Energy in there. Love yeah, it. so, okay, Love all right. So here's to uh, you and me stage racing. Ready? Okay. Let's start your engines. There you go. Here's, here's the... For we Stage have 20 one. seconds each. Now what? You take your straw. With your mouth, you've got to move an M&M into there, okay? With your <laughs> mouth. You suck it up. You move it into there. Really? We each have Can 20 seconds. Me? Can you show me? Yes, okay? So you go like this. Really? Okay? That's how this so is going to happen. Now, we got to both fit our big heads right here. we okay. got 20 seconds. Bob, you tell right, us when. Ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. Start your engines. Go. All right, here we go. Oh, we're cheating. We're cheating. Hey, listen, that's like a restricted thing you're putting on. You can't do that. 13, 12, 11, 10. He cheated. He did. He cheated. Hey, listen, NASCAR is great until you get caught, man. You can cheat as much as you want. You know that. Three, two, one. My jar looks a lot better than your jar, but I think I only got like six, though. Yeah, so how many well, did she get? She got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and with a restrictor plate, which means she didn't scoop it. <laughs> and we got about 15, so there you go. I would Bob, say... I'm impressed with you. I didn't know you knew your NASCAR. Hey, I follow my stuff. Yeah, he knows just right. know. You got to get the car through tech inspection and then go race. Well, maybe this is an omen as you go into Atlanta. No matter how, you you maybe you're going to go in as the, the winner of the M&M's. Well, thank you. Thank you. We have Monster, we have M&M's. I think you're going to be great for the rest of the day. Sugar high. You, it's so nice to talk to you. Congratulations <laughs> on an astounding year already. Best Thank of you. luck to you. Oh, Thank and you. to Appreciate Stuart Haas Racing as well. That was Tony Stewart. He never won we have 500. He's the owner. Yeah. At the shop now. So that's wonderful. And we'll have to see you at the track. She sang the national anthem yeah, at our race times. last year. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Um, they didn't invite me back this year. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't forget the words. Did not forget the words. Kurt, thank you so much. Awesome. Appreciate it. And thank we'll be you. back with more news after this.